finish 14 and 2 on his terror blade was just completely out of control when you when your entire style revolves around perfect team fight execution and you're going up against the liquid you can't take a fight like that i prefer to see kp on more of the team fighting like you know starting heroes this enigmas these tides these kind of aspects even like his sanking in the past or his uh, his omni knight is another team fighter i like these a little bit more than that zeus just feels like it fits more with the team not saying that he doesn't play the other heroes well it's just i think that's just the way it works with their team i would agree either the front laner or the initiator i think yeah. that's where i'd look to kp always so um, even though we kind of agreed that the Zeus pick was sort of fine, uh, at the end of the day, I think Newbie just looked better. Something different. Absolutely. All right, so they take it last time. They ban it this time. Ten the Razor. Remaining. Yeah. I also yeah, feel like... Newbie, Newbie's first pick, I guess they yeah. just really don't want Newbie. They, they just really favor it, both of these teams. Hmm. I feel like they, they asked a little bit too much of Kaka in that last game, where he's supposed to be the initiator, he's supposed to be the save of the Death Prophet, he's supposed to have a lot of impact on the lanes. Uh, it was a very high skill cap or spirit game, but it's very awkward to ask one player, even if he is your highest ceiling player, it's yeah. very awkward to ask one player to fill that many roles. Yep. Yeah, not having a saving mechanism for Death Prophet is always pretty difficult to execute. Here with the Razor Ban, it does leave the Omni pickup out there. Um, so Newbie, I think, are kind of threatening that. I think they would be very happy with the first pick on the night as long as the Razor's out of the Considering about this sinking, do they take it out this time, Newbie? Do Liquid leave the Bounty Hunter in the pool? It's the other one. It's been banned both, right? Both nope. games? Yeah. I think that they're still probably going to take out the Bounty. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know that you that you ban the bounty over the Naga with only one more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, just look at look at how newbie is trying to play. I mean, yeah, they had Kaka had one of the finest bounty hunter performances I've ever seen in a professional match on day one of this event. They but still take yeah, it out. They still take it out, and 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 the Naga is right there for newbie if they want it. Ah. I don't know how you can go away from that hero after the performances Pop Kaka has put on in this tournament. So what's the change that they're going to make? Are they going to take the Disruptor away from Newbie to prevent I think that combination? I was about to say Earth Spirit Disruptor first two by Liquid if Newbie That'd does cool. take the Naga. See, I think if you're Liquid, you're looking back to that game one draft and you're saying, you know what, we, we know how these guys play. Let's, let's get a little less fancy. Let's not take the tree. Let's stay with our split push. I think you take that game one draft maybe make a tweak or two, play a little better, and I think Liquid has a great chance to win that game. I mean, Liquid, as a, Kuro as a drafter, is, he's just never been one to fear what the other team can do. All right, okay. first pick Omni. So Rubik, Rubik's on the table for Liquid. GH, one of the better Rubik players of all time. You know what would be safe? If Liquid just took... They just took a Naga Disruptor against an Omni man. <laughs> That'd be cute. Taste of their own medicine, right? Mm. I take the Rubik this time. Five seconds remaining. That's a great first two, I think. And Matu did Rubik say they're prepping first. their green. They're prepping their green heroes. How about a Rubik Viper open, guys? <laughs> <laughs> There's some green. There's the man. He is going to, in the next couple of events, he is going to become the first player in history to yeah. 1,000 wins. There it is! Rubik Naga. The Naga! Wow. Team Liquids and they are going to take the Disruptor. This is, again, going to put so much pressure on Kaka to be able to perform because you're asking yep. Newbie to be able to take a Disruptor without an offlane initiator. It makes it a lot harder for you to be able to get that Static Storm on top of that Naga Siren, prevent that team fight changing ultimate from going out. I love best of fives. I love these type Five. of matchups. Look at how much Met, everything just changes up. Yeah, it yeah. just becomes yeah. this totally different story. Right, isn't it? And, and let's not forget the, uh, the glory days of GH Naga Siren. He, I mean, he plays a four position Naga that basically becomes a core if they choose to go in that direction. But with Liquid, I, I actually do think it's a little more likely with Liquid we might see a core Naga. Hmm. I think Liquid might just still go for Terrorblade if it's there. If it's, an, if it's there as an option. Not in the third pick, but later on, like third or fourth. Ten, probably yeah, they kind of need to see the enemy core, right? Yeah, I think preferably to see enemy core. Scared of the Enigma. Can work well versus Omni too, because you get that like degen aura reflection that's a monster. Oh no, wait, and what they did ban out. They banned out OD and Dusa, two of the better heroes to deal with those illusion based right. carries. Team Liquid's turn to pick. So they do take out the TB, newbie. 
It's smart, right? Mm -hmm. Liquid lichen still on the table if they want it. And this time around, they don't have that hard, hard counter. Like, I don't think Disruptor's a hard counter to Lycan. Naga is. Yeah. No, but and we saw, we saw, it was EG who ran a Naga Lycan, where they slapped the enemy team and the Lycan just split pushes, yep. I believe yep. it was. Yeah. So it could, be, it could be an option. Now, the, the, the concern there is that the Bat Rider is still on the table for yeah. Ruby if you open with the Lycan here. I almost, I almost think it would be good to take, like, a... But they can't pick that. It's hard to fit in. They've got the army. Right? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I guess they could, but then it would make things. They've, the Chi remember, weirder. it was the Chinese teams that pioneered the whole support bat rider. Right yeah, here. it's been a been a while. Yeah, it has been a long time. It has been a quite a while. Been a long time. Mm -hmm. In their time to pick. Just noticing also that Kurwa is actually 20 and 5 in his career as an Aga Signer as well. Played like both core and support. Oh. Oh, switch up. Well, I, <laughs> no, the, the magic of this pick, the reason I really like it here is because you don't know no. which of the two is the core. Flex. Very flexible right now. And this is, so I, I, I wonder if they might be setting up for the Lycan pick still. Seconds remaining. Bench. Hmm. Bench can be one of the better heroes for his Omni because if you may, if you do get it, to see him, you can swap him into the out of completely out of position because he's always going to be sitting in the back lines in this first type of draft. Swap into telekinesis for the yeah. Stun. Now first it, stun. it definitely depends on what newbie picks next, but this this still could be a draft strap for Liquid. I think the SF is made a lot stronger. I think SF as this. well, yeah. The, just having that magic damage through Guardian Angel. And you get the double, double down because you not only have Riptide and you have the setup with the sleep. Okay. The the PL SF. again. PL again. SF yeah. match I think you guys are right, but you're right. PL. The SF. I, I like SF a lot versus PL too. I've seen a couple neat builds with like Aghanims even thrown in the works. It really just works incredibly good versus PL, but they might still save the last pick. <laughs> Seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. What a tense draft this time around. So for offlaners, you can play it pretty slow here. You could do the Enigma, which you still have with the Naga Siren. Yeah. Good control against an Omni Knight. We saw that counter earlier. Also has AoE control versus the PL. There is still Tide as well as Legion. So I think, I think their mid hero is more limited, right? They're less strong mid heroes. Did I see? Did I see them have? Hmm, actually, I couldn't see which one they had picked up. But hmm. they looked like they had Coddle hovered over. Underlord. Okay, oh, so man. we were talking about this backstage. There's actually, I think Underlord is actually excellent against Omni Knight. Super, but there's yeah. there's a little bit of disagreement about that among some of the pro players players we've been talking to. Yeah, there is. It's the the matchup is. Is Underlord favor though, because you can push the lanes yes. on, you sustain a bit better, just as the hero, and you're always going to have that damage through the GA, and Pit's, Pit's always going to be strong versus PL. This gives them some cool Roche potential too, with, un uh, with Liquid. Underlord, Venge, Naga, Venge and Naga minus armor to make it faster, Underlord of course with Firestorm. Well, but the look Roche. at, the thing I like about this Liquid draft is that your, your tempo can change so dramatically depending on the fifth pick and whether you run the Naga as core support. Now, let's not, let's... Be very clear that we expect this to be Naga support yes. core Venge, but depending on the matchup here, you have a very strong tempo option with your fifth pick. Mm, they take the oh, AT themselves. So it really helps cut the Underlord down to size. Yep. He is going to be a problem with the Naga Siren. They have so many opportunities to go for free pushes that can't be interrupted very easily between the two escape mechanisms that they have. Rubik can work quite well versus ET though. The no field defensively can be really nice and you actually can almost always steal Splitter in the fights because it's the last spell you always cast because you're going to stomp, you're, you're going to Spirit, you're going to stomp, then you're going to Splitter. Hmm. Tinker is still out there in the pool. Please turn to ban. So Nubi took three of Liquid's heroes from the last game, right? 
Liquid had disrupt their Omni ET. Are Liquid looking at the OD themselves? It's banned. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it, was taken, taken it was taken out early. Just made the sniper pick, maybe. Made me wonder about that. Or sniper ban, sorry. Sniper, one of the better heroes versus Underlord, because you just outrange. Yep. They don't have a good way to close the gap. Versus that, newbie does ban out the shadow. Yeah, game. you gotta take that out. I almost like something like a gyrocopter for Liquid. Ooh, mid gyro. They've done it in the past. They oh, they have. They have. My uh, newbie takes it instead. Wow, I, this is a good trap by newbie. Works really well with the synergy of the Elder Titan. You need to be able to have that aggressive burst damage. It's also a threaten hero that threatens the uh, Underlord because they can't just run a PL like Disruptor or ET lane mid. Nobody doesn't have that frontliner right now, though. They don't have that tanky, like, tanky beef hero. The Invoker, yes! <laughs> Alan's so happy. Oh. Oh, man. That's what I wanted to see. Invoker versus Omni, too. You can purge off the whole GA with Tornado. Yeah. You have a lot of different, you have a lot of different, like, spells to throw on top, too, to deal with that Guardian Angel if it does go off. You have a lot of setup. You oh, score man. your Sunstrike kills. You have a lot of AoE versus the PL as well. I was gonna go newbie to that invoker right now too. <laughs> oh my god. That's mixed things up because you're going first this time as well. So I'm gonna go first yeah. this time. I can't go against invoker. Is it against your religion or something? Yeah. Okay. All right. You're going with the invoker. With going the with the invoker. All right, Alan. So I think the stats say newbie. I like their lineup a lot. I think invoker is really risky. I I can't pick against my boy Miracle. Miracle Invoker is my favorite player hero combination in the game. Okay. I'm gonna go that way. All right. All Liquid. Right. Two out of two. Liquid are some of the kings of split push. They have so many ways to be able to stall out this game for Invoker to be able to take over. I'm gonna go Liquid. Let's panel curse it up. Nice. Okay, so we've now had nine predictions from our panel. Eight of them have been for Liquid. We're currently at 1-1. Is there a panel curse? Let's find out as we head into game number three with Odie Pixel and Blitz. Thank you very much, Red Eye. And here we go once again, ladies and gentlemen, in game three now between Liquid and New B. I'm Odie Pixel. I'm here with Blitz. And indeed, the Miracle Invoker comes out. Some flashy picks from Liquid. Newbie, a different approach. This time, they themselves being the team to have to deal with the opponents having Naga Siren. Yeah, and KP throwing out that early game banter. Respects that they took it. it says Kuroki. And now Kuro throwing it a little bit back at him. They probably didn't expect him to pick it up. But Kuro saying, if you can play it, so can I. And more importantly, the crowd so hyped for this Miracle Invoker. They very well should be. This is a very good Invoker game. Absolutely, as the panel said, the, one of the bigger things to look out for, that Tornado to deal with the GA. Miracle Invoker, will he provide the show that the fans are hoping to see? We'll have to wait and find out. I mean, the question is, uh, I, I, I want to say, Blitz, is they love it. <laughs> they, they just, have, they just love this man. I mean, we could just keep showing Invoker, showing Miracle. And, anyway, every time. <laughs> oh, that's so nuts. Great fans. Let's hope he can, he can show up for the Liquid fans in the audience today. <laughs> All right, guys, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, here we go. So the question is, Blitz, can Newbie deal with an Argus I mean, This is the team that has been you know, destroying everyone with this pick. If you're a team and you're utilizing it that well, do you think, are they aware, aware of ways to, to deal with the Naga? Or do you think they themselves are like, well, we, we actually don't really know how to deal with it ourselves. So good luck to us, I guess. I mean, what, what, what do you think Newbie's going, going through their heads at the moment? Uh, I think it's very nice for... Liquid to be able to play, they have a lot of counter initiate is the big thing. Like they're not trying to set up any of these massive spells. The synergy between the Invoker and Naga is okay, but the big thing is as soon as Disruptor pops his ulti and Calldown comes down, you can reset these fights. As soon as GA flies down, you simply just pop your sleep, wait things out, and then take the fight again. And I think that's how they're going to utilize it this game. Uh, similar to how Newbie does it, although Newbie usually pairs it with something like the Disruptor, so they get a very clean ulti. At the same time, they've got very nice lane matchups here. Oh, GH trying that. to get a little bit low. He's okay. Does have a telekinesis if need be. Again, another Astral in. That is going to get a lot of damage buff as it passes through multiple heroes. Crow falling 
Relatively low, but just creating that space early on for, for Miracle to find that farm. Up the top, very nice matchup for Team Liquid as this Pit Lord is so good against this Omni Knight. Uh, at the same time, when I asked KP about it earlier, why they decided to pick it into this matchup anyways, they said they don't really care. It's such a good mid-game hero that it shouldn't impact things too much anyways. I'm just trying to man up 1v1 against each other up top. 5 for 2, 4 for 2, even CS at the moment there, bottom lane. Trying to make a bit of a go onto Faith as they drag him up. Kuro and GH just over the beat down, but Timmer Man not quite able to close the gap to follow up there on that bottom lane. Yeah. And interestingly enough, Owen, they're actually going to go try lane Matuma Man's lane, <laughs> which is something we don't see very often as Missile going to fly on the GH. Uh, GH is trying to go in very aggressively there onto Faith, but with that missile connecting, I think Newbie are going to be able to turn this one around. Who's going to fall first? Faith for GH. It will be GH. As Newbie get themselves first blood, GH will. Uh, sorry, Kuro will be able to get Faith in return, but still, Newbie the ones to claim that. That extra bit of bounty from the first blood. Yeah. And Matama Man gonna get a little bit more space to the farm here. As he was being contested quite hard. In this mid lane. Miracle gonna get stomped up. As Triple C doesn't have that lance yet though. Already used it off cooldown. And GH already mid, but I think the reason why they're not playing around this mid lane as much. It's because the kill potential simply not there as the Sun Strike flies on through. It's off point. Doesn't matter though. Liquid still get the kill onto Faith. In mid lane though, they are going to look to try and turn and take Miracle down in response. There's CCC and Kaka moving in. Telekinesis for GH to drag back SCCC. He's Kaka trying to move in and diving in up to Miracle. The South, the Freya fight, not enough. SCCC will get the Lance in and will take down Miracle. And Miracle has a Sunstrike available soon. Does have it. Kaka going to walk into oh! it. That's, that's why they were cheering him as much as they were at the start. They, the fans know to expect stuff like this from Miracle. Oh, <laughs> that was that was unbelievable. I was, it was absolutely perfectly as well on top of it. It wasn't one of these, you know, these weak sun strikes they hit on the side. That was straight down the cranium of the Elder Titan. Absolutely bang on headshot from Miracle. Yeah, and that's why whenever you play against this Miracle Invoker, you've got to vary things a little bit as that bottom lane, AP getting harassed up a little bit. They shouldn't have enough to kill him here. As Kuro trading hits, Matama Man swinging around the side though. KP out of mana here, does have the mango. Got the vision, he has got that one mango for the extra purification, but as you say, Matama still with the magic missile. Repel is out, it's not gonna be enough to save in those. They punch on through, the mind control takes down KP. Same time up top, GH being chased down by Faith and Kaka. See if they can get this Rubik kill. GH dukes oh, himself away it. from the kinetic field, but there is a homing missile inbound. GH will take a bounty rune on his way down. Faith not actually letting his Jaro get the kill. He wants it himself. We'll secure it with the final right click from the Disruptor. Matsuma Man actually TPing over to this top lane. He's now there. And with the Magic Missile into the Sun Strike, Faith is down. They've got a lot of setup liquid for that Sun Strike. So you can certainly expect to see Miracle try and get involved. He would have loved to get the kill with that. But at the least, he can be happy knowing that he helped secure his carry. Matsuma Man a kill early on. Yeah, not to put a damper on things though, but this S Triple C Phantom Lancer is doing very well. When it comes to net worth, 400 in front of Miracle has had a lot of space. The levels are there for him too. Oh. Kuro though, swings around. He needs to net the correct one. Ow, he tries to go for it there, but SCCC a little too far away. And with the reaction from Faith, Kuro backs up. He's held down in the field, but we'll be fine with GH and Miracle by his side. And Salve almost popped, but S Triple C instead wants the mana at the same time. Gonna go for the shrine. Healing up here as things a little bit reset as newbie. Off to a decent start, even though the kill score is 5-3, to three, the hero that they need to succeed as Phantom Lancer is off to a very hot start. Meanwhile, in this mid lane, Miracle. Pretty far from his Midas, but that's okay. He's got a lot of different cores that can create space for him. I think that's why they decided to take this Matama Man Naga Siren. I'm talking about up top, Kurok. Well, the Astral on top of them. The damage is already done, so he starts the south going. He will be fine as he retreats. Quite the difference between the uh, two offlaners in CS. You see 34 on that, 35 now mind control. KP just on 17, so mind control double the farm of this Omni Knight in these landing stages. And that's why oftentimes you'll see the Pit Lord 
Pops up. Pick. Homing missile connects onto him. My man pops the stick charges, trying to get himself away. Mugi and Faith chasing him down. Kuro looking to control. Kek on the sideline. Snow strike off point though. Miracle. He'll miss it. And with that, they'll lose Matuma Man. Maybe even more. Stomp for Dendu by Kaka. It will come through, but he loses his life still. This is two. Make that three kills almost certainly for Nubi. As this time, Nubi, the ones to clean up that aggression the Liquid were going for on that top lane. They always, you've got to be careful. This Gyrocopter, level five. One more creep and Mugi will be level six. Suddenly, these sort of plays from Liquid gets so hard to pull off. But Tuma Man's eyeing it up. But with the cooldown available, they have to be careful how they go on Mugi. Yeah, and Mugi, not the target that they want to go on, but they don't feel like they have a lot of choices just because KP already hampered quite a bit. So they're trying to they harass the core. Look at this, talking about harassing cores, running down Miracle in mid, SCCC and Kaka. Miracle trying to retreat, has the stick charges, pops down the ice wall. And that will be enough to slow them down. He'll turn, right click or two onto Kaka. The harass is enough though, and the Underlord now Radiant takes the lead as he is very farmed. Arcane Boots and the Soul Ring completed on him. It's not easy for KP to contest this lane anymore. We see that already as he's just spamming out that Firestorm. With a damage advantage, not easy for him to last hit. And meanwhile, S Triple C in mid lane, still doing very well for himself, forcing Miracle to buy raindrops. Gonna further slow down that Midas timing. Which means that Liquid gonna have to rely more heavily on Matama Man, who has been forced into the jungle right now. If you compare the difference between what he and Mugi has, it's quite a lot. Absolutely. The, the duo core, this Jaro PL, is, is certainly going to hit this sort of power point in the mid-game. Where Newbie can look to confidently take the fight. Mm -hmm. Any chance they get to sort of fight the Miracle at the earlier stages head-on is, is going to be a strong point for Newbie. I'm sure the Sunstrike potential around the map early is good, but when it comes to a fully-fledged team fight, Miracle, of course, still far from his full capabilities on the hero. And here's the lift. Got the setup. On to Kaka. Immediately burst down. Liquid get one. Can't quite get the catch on to. Faith though, as the kinetic field holds them back. And I think the annoying thing for them is normally whenever they have this Miracle Invoker, they try to kill the enemy mid-hero as often as they possibly can, but with their group of heroes, it's not easy to take down this Phantom Lancer. No. Not at all. SCCC, as we've been saying, having a pretty fun and easy time in the middle lane. Not necessarily setting too far ahead of Miracle. Miracle getting those, you know, a bit of gold from the Sunstrike kills. I'm going to see on the side, Kakra and Mugi bringing in the Gyrocopter towards this mid lane. They try for the stomp, not going to connect, but the cooldown slow will. They'll chase down Kuro. Can he do anything to get himself out? There's the homing missile inbound. He will get himself far enough away that Mugi doesn't want to chase any deeper. Liquid are there, and Newbie realized that, so... A bit of wasted time effectively for Mugi coming to a cross towards that mid lane and not getting anything done with that first Gyrocopter rotation. Matuma Man, though, he may actually end up giving them Newbie something for the time that they spent moving around as he pushes out on that top lane all on his own. And Mugi, actually on the way back up, still able to get something with that as he takes down Matumba. And Curl might fall for this too. Did show up a little bit too late, and oh. that's going to be an easy double and look, kill for Mugi. Mid, Miracle's getting dove upon. SCCC, can he get away with this one? He desperately wants He's going to have Spirit Lance again in a second. He's trying to chase in. Telekinesis is there for GH. Dragging back the real PR with the cold snap. Miracle, he's looking to turn. He's got the Sun Strike. It's going to be on point. SCCC, still alive for now, though. Can he get away? GH looking to close the gap for the final zap. Still not enough damage. SCCC, he's got double ganger back one up in a second. second. Can he, he get over in this. time? He goes down. He, oh, oh, he misses it The RNG's against him. Gaben is not on SCCC's side today, as the illusions keep him pushed up on the high ground. Oh, oh how unfortunate there for SCCC. That's the time where yeah. you wish you have a player cam. Wow. Because his reaction to that, You've got to that's be brutal. pretty bad there. And Liquid for a second, you saw, they're like, oh, well, he's gone. Then they realize, well, this illusion is actually hitting a lot harder than it should. And they get that much-needed kill. We saw how difficult it was for them. It took the die from S Triple C to make that happen in the first place. Still, a kill is a kill for Liquid. Gladly take that as Mind Control continues to just farm. Now they've created a lot of space for this Invoker, who's now jumped the PL in net worth. Almost has that Midas completed. Tuma Man has come down over the haste rune, trying to get something done with his movement. He's looking towards KP. It's a hard target to play around though with the repel available. KP 
Should be fine to get back on till. Oh, with a swap like that, Matuma Man actually finding the perfect setup. Does get a purification off. KP, not enough to survive, but look at the return fire. Here he comes with the cooldown. Glints back onto Matuma, dragging him into the static storm. Newbie will take him down. They will get the trade there. Punishing Matuma Man for his over-aggressiveness. And sure, Matuma Man, he can go for these sort of kills, but as this Venge, you know, he's not farming. He is going to fall further and further behind. And as you can see on the net worth, he is the lowest core at the moment in this game. But how many times have we seen Matuma Man in that similar situation where it feels like he can't get anything done, but at the same time, his team will eventually kind of swing things back around for him where he makes that comeback. Mid lane, SCCC doing a... Very good job at forcing Miracle back. The constant illusion harassment. But are going to try and potentially take this to get this fight here. It's mind control. He has moved over to the middle lane. Will be spotted out. Does want to try and put a stop to this tier 1 push. Newbie, they are there in large numbers though. Moogie and Faith on the sidelines. Mind control just trying to tank it at the time. But GH is actually the first to get caught out. Thunderstrike glimpse. Dragging back the Rubik. GH, he's gone. Newbie, they take one kill. Now they move immediately back towards the tower. Seeing if they can get the catch onto mind control. They do find the echo stomp. Closing the gap for SCCC and Moogie to move in. And they'll take mind control's life as well. But as you know, the song is keeping he's him alive. Though. But no, indeed, the repel on Moogie allowing him to continue to fight through finish off the kill gets the double and with that newbie should be able to finish off this tier one tower same time matuma man trying for the trade up top because the pressure onto the tier one there but tpm will be from sccc to put a stop to that one newbie holding their ground in that middle lane desperately looking to take this tower at a good timing 12 minutes in off the back of some very successful movements, moving around a tree. This this fight potential that they have just outclasses what Liquid can bring in terms of their heroes at this stage of the game. It's so hard for Liquid to fight this Gyro ET Disruptor on the four hero matchup. Yeah, here's the stun. No detection though, they do have dust. Oh, and it is looking to it. They do get a bit of a mini glimpse, but the Static Storm, they do trap him. But it looks like Moogie's actually headed up to Kuroki instead. Now, I'm not going to be able to bring Miracle down. Miracle will be fine. Swap back onto Faith. It's going to be Liquid who will manage to catch one of the stragglers of Newbie. Faith left behind. The rest of Newbie retreat. Actually, immediate Dark Rift for Mind Controls. He's looking to go up to the top lane. SCCC was pressuring in onto the Tier 1 tower. Mind Control brings the team up there to make sure that the PL has to immediately back up. Feels like they should have committed for that kill on the Invoker, though. I don't think they expected them to get the uh, glimpse into the ult, but if you lay down the call down there, one or two flat cannon hits, that should be a pretty easy kill, but instead, doesn't fully commit for that, and then they're going to lose the Disruptor, and that bottom call down flies onto GH. Caught out by the homing missile, GH all on his own. Newbie should be able to claim another as they dance around the tree line. Same time up top, they've got the catch onto Mind Control. Kinetic Field comes in, Newbie ready to chase down this Underlord without the Dark Rift. No way for Mind Control to TP himself out. He continues to try and do his best with the Hood of Defiance, buying him some time, but there's no way that he can outdo the damage. The Purification comes through from KP, and Newbie... Starting to step up the pace just a little bit. And this was always going to be the case, as we said, with Miracle Invoker. Liquid may have sort of expected the game to take this sort of turn at this stage. They are going to be waiting for the point where Miracle is sort of at his full power. But the question is if Newbie are actually going to give them the time to do so. Because Newbie, with these movements, with these plays, they're quickly taking over some of Liquid's area of the map. At the same time, like you said, you have to expect it with the Invoker. This hero is not willing to fight pre Aghanim Scepter, and you have to continue to just die, make space for him, take whatever you can on the map. Unfortunately, it's going to come at the cost of his teammates, but. And this is still a very good Invoker game. He's got a lot of AoE clear for all these newbie heroes, and once he gets a BKB, he's going to be nigh unkillable. But getting to that point is going to be the scary part as Liquid. Getting hard pressed, GH gonna get caught out here now as Triple C making his way forward. And GH glimpses back straight into the hammer of KP with the purification. Another quick pick off for Nubi. Kuro trying to do his best to disrupt the creep waves and get that push going again for Liquid up on the top lane as he pulls the wave around. Allowing Matsu to shove in onto that top tier one tower if he so wishes. But they are going to have to eventually respond to these plays. Look at this. Mugi, Kaka moving behind the tower, getting the vision onto Miracle. He's going to get stunned Does up. Have to go do they have the detection? They're closing in. They do. That's a big catch there for Newbie, taking down this Miracle Invoker. He doesn't want to be a part of the fights, as you said. But with Newbie moving in like that, behind tier twos, looking up to the high ground of the base, 
He has to be so careful with his positioning miracle because they have all the catch in the world with this faith disruptor that we've seen many times this land have just an incredible plays. And it's proving to be this time around without that Naga Siren that a lot of time has been relied on for him to do so. Yeah. And with how strong this Omni Knight is, his ability to force the dive, right? Because you're not afraid of... Uh, the comeback from Liquid whatsoever. You don't respect it. So you're willing to go up onto a tier 3 tower at 16 minutes because Liquid has represented that they know they can't fight. Oh. And look who they found in the jungle again. Oh, this would be back to back. With the quick setup. Do they have detection? They don't. They they don't. That would oh. have been huge for them. I mean, committing four heroes like that, I mean, you you, you got to imagine they expected to have the... The chance to find him, but yeah, Miracle quick fingered there with the Ghost Swarm before he gets dragged into the Static Storm. I mean, I get maybe they were expecting they could control him before he was able to react like that, but Miracle straight up just walks out underneath the noses of four heroes. Yeah, would have been massive for Newbie. These are the kind of mistakes that you can't afford to make. You need to keep dust on your heroes. Miracle will always get that off as a mid lane GH. He's going to get Glimpse back. Faith is here. But oh, gets the repel off on himself. Look at this. Distraction made by Liquid. They go into the pit. Matuma Man. With that aura, with that minus armor, going to speed it up for the team. Will Newbie look to check it out? They did have vision up here, but I believe the smoke. Oh, look at that burn damage. The Firestorm, so effective against the Roshan. And with Crow having sleep, they know there's no way. And Liquid. Certainly looking to get away with this one for free. Miracle will join in. I'm quite sure if he got the last touch, but he might have there. A bit of extra gold into the bank of this Invoker, if so. I have that Aegis. GH. It's being hunted, though. Moves into the jungle. Right? He's got the Repel. TP out. Uh, he's got the Earth Spirit coming in, but... And uh, with the Repel and the quick reactions with the TP, nothing they can do to hold GH back. Bottom lane, SCCC as well. Pushing it out. Goes for his own TP. Matilda can't quite close the gap in time to get that swap off. So, SCCC... Able to push bottom out, get back, keep himself safe. And what are we looking at on the Aghanim's timing for Miracle? So just one more component left to go. He's getting closer and closer. And as you say, that's when we have the chance to see these team fights really turn around. If he can find the correct angle, and with the amount of setup that his four teammates can provide him, there's definitely the opportunity to hit these multi-man tornadoes into Meteor Deafening Blast combos. And another steal as the Rubik manages to find that Omni heal. This is why that hero is so good against it. Is Faith going to run into Matumba Man in the jungle hero? And they drag Matu back. There's no help for Matu here for the first life. Are they going to see anyone come through for the second time? It doesn't look like they will. Liquid just have to accept that Matu's going down. I mean, the definition of, as you've been saying, how Liquid play. This is always sort of the plan. They are okay with Matumba Man being bullied because they know that they can pick it up elsewhere in their lineup. Yeah. Although he goes down, look at the amount of space that he creates for the rest of his team. Miracle getting closer and closer to that Aghanim Scepter. If they can catch him though with this move. Same time, very nice smoke here. They this have dust this time. Would be the dream for Nubia if they can, but the Tornado immediately out response. Holding through the back, still the glimpses there into the Static Storm. They have managed to catch him. Homing Missile connects, stomp onto two. That's the kill they were looking for as Moogie hits the godlike streak, taking down Miracle. Incredible. If they can continue to catch the Invoker, Nubia can absolutely can just keep control of this game and mind control. He's trying for the Dark Rift out. The glimpse comes a little early, so he will still be fine with the Dark Rift down to the bottom lane. And Faith thought... Actually, Faith had no idea how long it was going to take. He yeah. didn't see him from that area. Uh, very easy escape for mind control as he does go bottom. Very tanky with that pipe as well. But at the same time, I mean, they can just ignore this hero. They don't really care whether or not he's killable or not because they keep finding this Miracle Invoker. That's the third death. And the timing of it was perfect too. It was right before he finishes that Aghanim Scepter. Just 100 gold away. You're going to delay it by another two minutes. Force Liquid to continue to split up. And look at this. Well, the, the item queued up here for Kuro. So on this Naga Siren, actually uh, having the Diffusal Blade queued up. Not something that I can say that we've seen that frequently recently on sort of these support Nagas. Yeah, I think he wants to develop into another core. Him and GH have sort of swapped roles in this game. I think Kuro told GH, look, we just can't have enough impact with this Rubik at this time. 
We need another hero to pick up the slack. A newbie with a very deep wrap around as Liquid push out on this bottom lane. Yeah, and that's triple C. Here we go, looking for the setup. They'll pop down the spirit, call down onto Matuma Man, who immediately goes straight for the TP out. The stomp's in time, though. Matuma Man caught out. The rest of Liquid trying their best to get away, but GH also being found by SCCC off the back of that movement. Newbie keeping themselves ahead. Miracle does now have that item timing, though. The Aghanim Scepter is done. So we'll see how he's able to turn up to the fights in the future. Yeah, and Mugi currently doing way too well. 10 0 and 4. Liquid cannot keep up with this gyrocopter. It feels like newbies everywhere right now. Anytime Liquid venture outside, they lose cores left and right. Miracle. They can't afford for him to go down. He's immediately going to ghost walk. Doesn't even risk it. Spirit flies in, but Miracle should be just fine here. Going to try to nuke down the next wave potentially. As SCCC makes his way forward, he's going to catch out Kuro. Yeah, here is Kuro. Can he get out of it? He does have a song available, but he may just accept his fate. As indeed the speed that Newbie can bring down targets at this stage is absolutely terrifying. They want to go for the high ground here. Miracle has the TP available. He's got to get back here quick. As SCCC, they they're hitting the tower. They've got the Pit of Malice onto two. Quick doppelganger, Mugi. Keeping the push up. He's popped the flat, ca flat cannon. That's down for 20. Fortification forced out by Liquid, 10 seconds still before Kuro comes back into the game. UB still confident and sticking around here for this. Any sort of setup would be the nice. They get the stop, they do get the swap in onto Mugi, bringing him back up onto the high ground. Repels there though. Static Storm onto Miracle to make sure that there's no follow up. And with that Matuma man, he's going to find the connection as he goes down. GH as well in trouble, but Kuro's there with a the song. They need the setup. Has Miracle got the combo? He There's has the EMP. He has the Meteor and the Deafening Blast to blow up Mugi. They've stopped the push here as they take down the Gyrocopter. Good Echo Stomp comes through, though, to allow the rest of Newbie to disengage. Oh, look but at the chase. At bottom, they want to take a tower out of this, too. Three heroes immediately come in, but there's no follow-up. Good hold from Liquid there. The song set up. As we expected to see eventually come out being devastating to the team fight attempt from Newbie. Impressive execution though for themselves as well and you can see their faith heads up. As soon as he sees Miracle, he just traps him. Static Storm on top of them. He knows as long as he can keep the Invoker out of the fight, there's always going to be a bit of a chance for Newbie. But as we saw, Song of the Siren waits out that Static Storm, allow Miracle to reposition himself and then it's a totally different story. Yeah, and with no BKB on this gyrocopter, very susceptible to that every single time. And you saw that combo coming a mile away. Matama Man has that centaur at all times. He's gonna go for that swap into the stun. Newbie pop all their spells a little bit too early. And without the Disruptor ulti, Miracle free to do whatever he wants. I think they have to be a little bit more patient with that. If you're only using it to hold him back, I think it sends the wrong kind of message. As we can see, net worth wise, 6k lead still going the way of Newbie at the moment, but it's hit. Yeah. Bit of a flat line there off the back of that hold. Liquid were able to pull off. Kuro does have a missile inbound on him. They'll see if they can chase this one down. They do have dust on Kaka. Jump for from SCCC, but the tornado. Miracle finds the setup. There's the combo. They're falling so down below. Telekinesis out. Oxygen. And Moogie's down. Miracle goes forward with the bleak dagger pickup snaps to set up a second you can't go running into tight confined situations like that when miracle may be up there on the high ground every time any sort of setup miracle he's going to turn he's going to hit the combo and as you say at this stage of the game without those bkbs on the cause you know moogie's still a recipe away you're always going to go from 100 to zero just like that yeah, and I don't think they expect it to be bursted like that. They really have to start respecting this Invoker. He's level 16, very strong. And now, Tower's being taken by Liquid. That 6k gold lead gets chipped away. Now it's down to 4. Liquid starting to make a little bit of room for themselves on this map. They want to continue to move forward. Pressure on Miracle. Has all the items that he needs. Has that Blink Dagger completed. Wants to play very aggressively with it. Same time, Stomp gonna, con gonna connect on a Mind Control. But no follow-up from Newbie, as I think they're starting to understand the game has changed. I mean, and in what, what sense, if you're Newbie now, do you sort of change how you're playing? Do you just simply focus on getting those BKBs 
and, and sort of getting your, your next big item rather than trying to force it as much as they have been. I don't think it's easy for them to go for the high ground pushes as it used to be. Because in the past they felt like they could just walk in, Liquid wasn't respecting it, they couldn't really do too much without the Invoker Aghanim Scepter, and so they had to largely play back. But this time around, they've got plenty of ways to deal with them. And usually what you do when you have an Omni and a Gyrocopter is you just let the Gyro repelled up hit the tower, but they've got so many ways to deal with that because of this Naga Siren. She just pops asleep as soon as she sees that happen, nets the Gyrocopter, everyone beats on him, he will go down, even without spells. Smoke up from Liquid. They're eyeing up Roshan. It is up and available. They do have everything ready, the song and such, they can keep good control around the pit. Same time, of course, Newbie do have good ways of fighting in. If they can sort of play around the song, uh, split a static storm, cool down. And it's all a lot of combo to throw down in a confined area like that Roche pit. And right now, Phantom Lancer has a blink dagger of his own, wants to get on top of that invoker. His game plan is very simple at this point. Try to assault the back lines. Same time, Kuro. Always gonna have that Song of the Siren to disengage. And look. Same time, GH has stolen the Static Storm, so they've got their own sleep oh. combo. And that is absolutely something that Newbie are gonna be very scared of. And Liquid may be able to catch them off guard here as they smoke up. Start to move. Behind Mind Control here. Mind Control being the one to back up and push out this top lane and act as some sort of a bait, but it looks like Newbie won't fall for it. Newbie keeping themselves over to their half of the map. Yeah, and they've got a very farmed Omni Knight who's got full Guardian Greaves and the Pipe of Insight. They're going to go for the smoke of their own. They're pinging around. Both teams might just collide here as Faith. His smoke gets popped. He's going to be on the front him. straight away with the swap into Magic Missile. They've got the control. Newbie now actually still looking to try and take this. Moogie looking to lead forward, homing Missile onto Matumba Man. Without the disruptors, they really want to try and take this newbie. It's a bit of Remain a tricky stun. one. And yeah, it's just going to be a, a stomp and disengage for newbie. No point in trying to force a fight without that disruptor, without that static storm. And uh, talking about static storms, it looks like, yeah, for GH, he will just be about to lose his. That he has had stolen. Does have a blink dagger now, though. They want to continue to look for a fight. This Roshan so important for both teams. The burst potential of Miracle can largely get negated if they just find an Aegis onto their Gyrocopter. Won't even have to have the BKB ready. That's the case, but Liquid continue to be all together, grouped up. Miracle, of course, is taking the opposite edge because he's so fast when he's Ghost Walked. Almost hasted. And here we have Liquid forcing for a fight up top. Reaction will be there. Faith and Kakalu to come in, but to man, the crit with a swap into the Telekinesis. Sunstrike Brew holding Moogie in place. He gets the BKB out of time. Now they look to turn, but the song is there. Kuroki trying to hold by the rest of the Matuma man. Go for the TP out. Gets clips to the side, but Mind Control. He's there with the Dark Ring. One takes them back in time. Liquid, get out of there. Everybody alive for now. I mean, GH, he is being chased by SCCC. We'll see if he's able to get the. The gap closed, but they don't have vision up on the high ground there, newbie, so he won't jump forward. What a close disengage. But look at this. They know there's no song. They know there's no dark rift. Newbie want to try and punish. They'll run into GH, but GH with his blink dagger. Quick with the reactions. Jumps up to the high ground. They're desperately trying to find at least something. They will get GH. They glimpse back the Rubik. They'll get something out of it at the end of the day. But this is what we're talking about. The, the potential that Liquid have as a unit to just make it so hard for Newbie to get away with any sort of team fight. Now Liquid, they're ready to come back in and punish for losing GH. They look towards Kaka. Kinetic fill the drop. Here's the Cataclysm. Won't actually hit onto anyone, but it looks nice. That's going to be the Elder Time down. Miracle's actually been taken out on the sideline, though. SCCC found Miracle, took out the Invoker. Kuro and Matub Advance still trying to fight, but SCCC and Mugi, they're going ham. Double kill for this PL, and they they find more, they've got their eyes onto Mind Control, they're chasing him, he pops out the pipe, they have the glimpse, Newbie, they've caught themselves another, and they find it, triple kill for SCCC, and what a play there from Newbie, that top lane dodge from Liquid, Newbie say, look, we have to go now, this is what happens if we wait until Liquid have everything that they need for a fight, if we can run at them when there's no song, there's no Dark Rift, 
it's very hard for Liquid to get out of the fight. Yeah, and you saw how effective that PL with the Blink Dagger was at getting on top of heroes. Liquid preoccupied. They were split up in that fight. They were chasing Faith around. And meanwhile, KP just playing the role of the healer kept him alive that entire time. That fight way too split up for them as Moogie now claims the Aegis for himself. And look at this. And they're going to hey. even find Kuro again. He has sleep available in one second. Onto it. They do have the static zone. If he wants to drop it, Kuro teasing around with the zone, but Faith... He has the static storm if he sees that animation come out from Kuro and he may not even need it. They glimpse him back, surround him and Kuro down as well. Newbie, this is the sort of perfect play that we said needed to come out for them. We saw it in game one and we're starting to really see it shine through once again here in game three. Two heroes down on Liquid, they had to buy back. Look at SCCC blinking straight into the base. Looking to go on top of them, a doppelganger to dodge the combo. Three man Echo Storm comes out. Holding them back as Kaka controls Liquid, getting the space for Nubi to finish off at least a tier 3 as it looks, as they will find it. They turn their attention towards the rags. Miracle comes in, blinks out, trying his best to peel Nubi away from this push, but they're standing strong. Stolen homing missile thrown back the way of Mugi, holding him in place, but the purification there from KP, keeping him topped up. Nubi just continuing to relentlessly push in. Liquid, can they put a stop to it? Song's back online, and Newbie, they know, they know the big ults are there that they have to be worried about. They're starting to retreat. Sunstrike, it's going to be shared. Kaka, the bro move. Oh, tanks them and they get damage from Moogie. They'll be fine, and they'll get out of there. But Newbie, they're certainly, they're just becoming so much smarter about how they take the fights now at this stage. It's exactly what you said, Blitz. They have to adapt, and boy, are Newbie doing it. Yeah, they're being very patient this time around. They're not forcing anything. They realize Liquid, very dangerous team even with their backs against the walls. They're gonna just claim the Shrine instead. They know they have a lot of time left on their Aegis. They still have that cheese. Nothing was popped. That was too useful for them. And Liquid, they always have that combination. They can always sleep set up into these kills. That's why Newbie trying to shut out this game, being very smart about it, and the Illusion's gonna shove in mid. They wanna take down this tier two though, and this is the real target right now for Newbie. And it looks like they're going to get away with it as well. Radiance Newbie coming in as they are. And no attempt from Liquid to lead the base as it seems. They know that they have to just keep themselves and play from their advantage from the high ground. Fighting for a tier 2 at this stage is not worth it for Liquid. Radiance so Newbie will be able to get away with claiming yet another tower. Miracle's trying his best for the split push down on the bottom lane. Level 21 on the Evoker Lincoln Sphere of course done. And now working towards having that Octarine. Get a bit of pressure on, immediately blinking back, just playing as safe as he can. And look at this, straight back at base, Moogie, he's back up on the high ground. Gets a couple of hits onto the racks. It's got to be a little bit scared of the swap, but he does still have that Aegis. As you say, she's still there as well for SCCC. Newbie still wanting to use this timing. They know that the ults are there, but they're not too worried. Swap's going to be there onto the PL. It's on strike as well, off the mark. SCCC repelled up, able to get himself back into the safe hands of the rest of his team. Matuma Man will survive for now. Earthsplinter uh, flies in, but Matuma Man, he's out to the side. Not going to connect onto anyone. Commitment from Moogie here, though, as he pops the BKB, looks straight towards the racks, jump forward, SCCC heading towards Kroki. No, oh, he actually just goes for Matuma Man with that Spirit Lance. He Gets it! SCCC gets the kill! They're diving deep for this one, Newbie, but they're getting away with it! Double kill for SCCC! He's going ham! Kuro pops the song, but he takes it off straight away here, as he knows there's no setup. He's got to just try and draw Newbie away from the base. Kuro's going to go down as well. Newbie, they've taken three. They move to the top lane. Three heroes down on Liquid without buyback. Only Mike Control and Miracle left alive. As Newbie, they'll definitely clean up a second set of racks. There is still a tier two on the bottom lane, but they could try and threaten for the game. Miracle comes forward, looking for the combo, but the connection's there with the kinetic field. The stomp as well. Miracle held down, taken out, and GG is called. Newbie take game three, bringing this best of five to a 2-1 in their favor. And what a game to do it in as well. It looked like Liquid had the edge of the start. It was very confident. Newbie couldn't find the chance to get the ball rolling. But when they did sort of that 25 minute mark, they did it in exceptional style. And they didn't give Liquid any sort of chance of getting themselves back in control of this game. Yeah, aside from that mid moment where they were able to use the sleep combo, it felt like they were very uncomfortable. Looked like they were playing on the back foot at all times. Liquid just not really able to get anything together. And credit to Newbie, they did such a good job of controlling that environment.